Hi chaps and chapesses. Here's a roundup of the last week in the workshop. We had a flu forge, a forge flu fan failure in that the fan I fitted uh, to the forge flu itself, this is a tongue twister, uh, improved the situation but didn't cure the smokiness of the forge. And then on Friday, which is yesterday, it's Saturday today, I noticed as I was shutting down that the uh, flu fan on the main flu wasn't operating either. And uh, when I looked at it, this motor has quit. It's, I think it, it's very old, it's, it's late 50s, early 60s. And I think it's either become magnetised or it's got shorted turnings because what happens is that sometimes it starts, sometimes it doesn't, sometimes it runs slowly and sometimes it just stands and buzzes like that, so it's shot. So this is my main flu fan, this is the one I wanted to increase in power. So what I've done is strip the old housing down, got a very nice little aluminium fan inside it, and I've found another motor. Now this is a a little Black & Decker, I think, or could be Bosch, motor, out of a strimmer. So it's quite high speed and it's quite powerful. Uh, and with a little bit of lathe work, it will fit the fan to the motor very easily. So we can rebuild that. The motor will mount quite easily into there and I can make a cowl to cover it. I also have a speed control, which means this is a very fast motor, very high speed motor, which means I can use this to slow it down or speed it up. So that should give me an adjustable, more powerful main flu fan. That's part one of what I'm going to do to try and get rid of the smoke problem. I'll move on to part two now. Okay chaps, well there's the flu we've got at the moment, as you can see it's quite short and it's also got an H pot on the top, which I think uh, the air I'm blowing up the, uh, up the flu is hitting the branch of the H pot and possibly causing some turbulence and it's not clearing the smoke, so I'm going to modify that as well. Now I happen to have several lengths of this galvanised tin that is uh, actually it's the old ridge off a shed now we, we bought this steel new and had it folded and the flue you've just looked at is made from this exact material folded at 90 degrees and two pieces welded together so like two angles welded together into a box so what I'm going to do is I'm going to, next week, probably starting Monday, I shall make up another length of flue, remove the H-pot from the existing flue, attach this to the top, and then to the top of that, I've got something else to add. This rain cowl, will be put on top of the flue, the new flue, which will be higher and will also be straight. So no more H pot. This will keep the rain out of the flue and I hope to get much better flue speed and much better flue uh, vacuum to try and clear the smoke. But this is an ongoing process. We're going to have to experiment to get it right and that's what I intend to do. Now I'll show you another problem we've got that's partly solved. Just walk in here to the heater itself, the workshop heater. I'm very pleased with the way it works. It heats the workshop beautifully. It uses one to two bags of wood a day. Uh, and I'm happy with that. But we've had a problem with creosote. It's actually condensing the, the water in the wood. Which is, you would expect, because I am cooling the smoke in effect to blow the hot air through the uh, through the workshop now I changed this flue round 
I showed you this I believe, I changed this flue round so that the flue is on the outside of that junction there, not the inside, which is where it should have been in the first place, I cocked it up. Right, and that has, as you can see by the empty pan down there, which I think you can see, that has cured that part of the condensation problem. There's still a little bit running out from underneath the stove, right, which is what's dripping down the inside of the heat exchanger as it gets cooled with the fan blowing the air through it. So what I'm considering doing now, well, what I'm going to do with now as an experiment to see if it works, is in here I'll put the sensor for a thermostat right? and that thermostat will switch the fan on and off so I can set the boiler, set the heater to wait until the heat in here is very high and then switch on, blow that heat around the workshop and go off at a preset point so that it doesn't make the inner heat exchanger too cool and doesn't uh, allow the smoke, the water vapour in the smoke to condense. I also want to get some insulation for this flue pipe but at the moment I've tried to get some, I can get it off the internet but the cost of the uh, transport to send it to me is, is, is far more than the stuff would cost. Uh, so if anybody knows anybody who's got any 100 mil by 1 inch thick rock wool insulation for pipes, I'd like some. Right, but there you go. At the moment, as you can see, it burns everything away to ash. The heat goes straight up there and into the heat exchanger. Right, and it works very well. It doesn't smoke. Uh, it doesn't smell, the only smell is from the creosote. Uh, other than that, what have I done? I've finished my rivets. So here are the finished rivets for the... Uh, there we are. These are the finished rivets for the... Uh, the shovels, to put the shovels back on. I think they've come out really well. They look the part, they're the right size, the right shape. They look really good. So that's probably how I'll make rivets from now on. On the lathe and then heat them, anneal them, and it also colours them as we go. Okay chaps, on to the next bit. Fitted forge flue fan failed. Feck. Well, it's been a short week this week chaps because Monday and part of Tuesday was uh, involving my mother's uh, ongoing drainage problem which uh, has been found and dug up and temporarily fixed until the insurance people come to fix it permanently so that problem is over uh, a couple of days this week or a day this week I was on my car fixing the uh, the blower heater blower fan which which failed and uh, was a complete pain but I fixed it and uh, I've popped a video up uh, on how to fix the uh, the fan as well so uh, as I say it's been a short week it's a short video uh, thanks for watching thanks for subscribing thanks for all the nice comments because I'm getting some real nice feedback and uh, I'll see you all again next week bye for now